Now, the WBZI team uncovering some shocking new information about the light pole that toppled over, injuring a woman in Boston Seaport. Our chief investigator, Cheryl Fiendaka, has been digging into the most recent inspection report and found the city was well aware of the serious danger posed by those light poles. Cheryl is here now with us. And Cheryl, what else have you learned here? Well, David, the I-team has learned that the city has known about the problem for years. We just obtained this 66-page inspection report from January of this year. And state inspections found severe deficiencies in the base of the light poles and required repairs to be made as soon as possible. But those repairs were not done. You want to get in touch with the city lighting, they're going to kind of have to come down and look at a bunch of these poles. The bases are rusted out on them, and I think that's what happened with this one. Boston police sounding the alarm after a woman was seriously injured by this falling, corroded light pole. To have something look that bad, I mean, it rusted through in you know, most of the spots all the way around the base. It's just uh, uh, really shows a neglect on keeping proper inspection. It's a wake-up call that says, hey, we got to go look at these things. The I-team found Tuesday's incident wasn't the only wake-up call. The most recent bridge inspection from January included photos of the poles and found severe deficiencies in the steel that required repair ASAP. How dangerous is something like this? They are dangerous. These are heavy, heavy poles and... Uh, they're going to hurt people when they fall. Boston 311 records show the city has known about the potential danger for nearly six years. In 2017, heavy winds toppled this pole. No one was hurt in that incident. By looking at that light base, you know that it's that's structurally not sound. Stephen Ryan says he alerted the city about the deteriorating steel poles about a year ago and sent this photo of the eroding concrete around it. Well, that's at the base of most of the light posts is seriously corroded. One has already fallen during a storm. So I was just letting them know what I had seen on my daily walks over this bridge and the city responded back that the case was resolved. Um, and apparently it's not. And there were even more reports. This year, on August 24th, the city got a photo showing a pole with holes rusted through. And just 27 days ago, this message was sent to 311, saying half of them are rotted out. The bridge was built in 1996. So what's causing the rot? So it's steel. It rusts. And uh, it rusts quicker when it's exposed to salt. And road salts are the culprit that I'm seeing in this one. It would need to be galvanized and properly coated guardrails along bridges. They stay in pretty good shape for 30, 40 years because they're galvanized with a zinc coating. I would think the same thing would need to be done with these bases. So far, the city says it removed nearly two dozen rusted poles on the Moakley Bridge and took out several more on the Summer Street Bridge. There's uh, close to 70,000 lights in the, in the city. The city of Boston has a street light team to repair and inspect its more than 67,000 street lights. But despite all the reports about the compromised lights on the Moakley Bridge, it appears nothing was done to replace them. Obviously, they're not doing enough inspection if this one got to be that badly rusted. The city tells us it got the state's January report eight months later in August. Days after that, it contacted the engineering firm to develop a work plan. Lisa?